Hello everyone, this is a little bit of a different uh, Man Manga Boy video. I feel like I've been doing a few different things lately. Um, so I got my um, guillotine cutter in the mail the other day, and I got a few manga that need some cutting somehow. Oh, I guess maybe just a printer error at Viz. I don't know how that happens. You know, sometimes it happens, uh, sometimes they come out perfectly. You know, we all just need a little bit of a trim, but you can see, maybe, maybe on this camera better. <laughs> that this manga has some pretty big gaps from where the ink is here, okay? So that tells us, oh man, it probably wasn't cut right. Those guys over at Viz, uh, printing company, they were drinking again and they just couldn't cut it right. Or, you know, maybe the machines just made a little bit of an error. Happens all the time. Um, so if you get a guillotine cutter, you can fix these issues pretty darn easily. This is going to be a weirder kind of video because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to remove my face cam and I'm going to put it over here. Okay. That way <laughs> get a little bit of an interesting view of my house, of my room, I guess. That way you can kind of see what I'm doing over here. Okay. So I'll put this in a weird spot for now and I'll move this around and I'll use it as a little hand camera just to see what we're doing. So if you look at our big boy camera, you'll notice uh, we got a, a red strip here, okay? And the blade's all the way down, there we go. And you can't really tell where the knife is gonna come down, right? You know, it's kind of difficult to say where the heck this thing comes out. Just somewhere on this red strip, it's gonna bring this blade down. The blade is right here. Okay, look at this. It comes down just like that, right there. Okay, and the little camera comes right down. Uh, but it's like, there's a lot of red there. So where the heck do I line up my book? This is gonna be kind of tricky, isn't it? And I got this weird stuff here. Like look on this side here, we got this metal thing. I, I'm turning this lever here and I'm bringing it down and it'll hold the book in place for me. I also have this thing over here that I can slide the book around with to kind of try to keep it somewhat uh, even. You line the book up just right on these lines, just like that. And once you have that all set, you're good to go and cut things. But wait, how do I know where it's cutting, man, Mongo boy? I hear you guys screaming at me. Okay, I did my first book. Uh, already and it was just kind of as a trial run and I found that I was able to get it sometimes just right and other times not even close and so I'm gonna use a little bit of painters tape now if you guys have never used painters tape it's one of those tapes that doesn't really cause any damage to anything and it comes off really easy it's uh, what painters use when they want to paint something but not get the paint all over the place so we're gonna put it right over this red strip here. Now you want to get it to cover as much of that red strip as possible. You see how I didn't get it all the way across? And Manga Boy is a terrible paint cutter. So I'm now gonna, and just so you can kind of see it, give this blade a nice little slice through here, okay? And it's gonna hopefully cut through that tape and it looks like it did, and I'm just cutting it to make sure it's all gonna come off nice and easy. I'm pressing down very firmly on it. I'm gonna remove this tape. And when I get rid of it, because it's only cut to that point, I know exactly where this blade's gonna cut my book, okay? There's no black line there, which is really annoying. There's no indicator that says, your book getting cut here, man, manga boy. So that kind of sucks. Now. When you make these cuts, you always want the book. I'm back on the big camera. I think I'll swap it around on my own in the editing process. Um, you want to have the book so the spine is facing towards the blade. At least that's what I've been told from people who have done this um, at like a package store or um, you know a mailing store like UPS or Staples. You can kind of line things up just like this so it's nice and even. They say to put the spine towards the blade so when it comes down, the spine is on the same side as the blade. So right now you can see I've got this handle over there. The blade is gonna come down from over there to start with and then kind of come down more like that. That's just the way it works. 
I'm gonna lift it back up. Um, I've done this before. I'm looking at the camera where it usually is. It's not there. <laughs> I've done this before uh, both ways. It didn't make a huge difference for my cut, in my opinion. Um, you know, I will say that I had a bigger issue with lining things up evenly. That was probably more of a concern for me. It's making sure my book was as even as possible so that it's not cut at a slant. That was more of my work, my issue I noticed. So when I lower this down, and you should always lower down this press here, that's what this is called, it's called a press. So I just lowered this thing down with the lever so the gate is nice and closed tight on Mr. Boba Wolf. Next, you're gonna have this pushed all the way forward and tight, tight as can possibly be. So that way it's not getting any leeway. It's not gonna slide out when the blade comes down. Okay, so where do we have things lined up? We've got the red pretty well lined up to the red. I might have a little bit of extra purple here. So how am I going to tell this? Look at where I've got that ink, okay? That ink could go forward a little bit further into the blue and still be okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise up the gate just a little bit. And instead of using my hands to push this thing any forward now, I'm going to use this, okay? So I'm going to loosen this up. And I'm going to slide it just gently to just about here, okay? So we can see that the ink is going to not be cut, but it's going as close as possible onto that blue, blue tape. So it should be okay. So as a reminder, everything on the blue tape right here, this is going to be removed, okay? So this big hunk here, oh my God, it wasn't tight at all. I'm gonna cry, forgot to lower the gate. Uh, so don't forget to lower the gate like me. <laughs> but everything that's not on that is going to be cut. All right, if it's on the blue tape, it's not gonna be part of the book anymore. So I know what you're thinking. You're getting some red with that too. That's okay. I really want to make sure I get all of the pages with the ink to stay here. I don't really care if the cover gets cut so much. That's on me. That was a man manga boy fault, okay? I made the cover too big. So nice and tight, just like I was saying. Oh, perfect. We want that as tight as possible, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring down the blade. You guys can see this in action, I hope, here. This is just like a shitty webcam <laughs> camera. But you can see it from right here as well. We're gonna bring it down, okay? I usually give this a few slices. And I put my hand on it too, just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, because it just might. And you can see I am getting a few of those ink pages, which I really didn't want to do. So maybe next time I won't do as much as what I did. That being said, I didn't get too much of the ink pages. I don't know, there we go. All right, just a little bit. So now I'm gonna do the other side. And I'm just gonna loosen this up again. we've got the back kind of going in here. Make sure the blade's all the way up so you can fit the book in here okay. So we learned last time that we probably want a little bit of the text to not be on the blade just to make sure things aren't getting cut off that we kind of want to keep. So we have a little bit of the ink not on the tape here. Everything else should be cut. You'll see I made the cover a little bit too tall because you see what's being cut here is a little bit of the Shonen Jump world's um, most popular manga. That's on Man Manga Boy, okay? Man Manga Boy did this. Try to make sure that this is nice and even as possible. It's really hard 
to, to make sure that it's not um, slanted. I don't know of a good way to do it other than lining it up on these kind of lines right here, okay? The lines look good to me, but again, <laughs> it's hard to know exactly. There's another way you could do it and that's by putting it against this thing here, this metal bar. But the problem to that is you can't have it all the way against it uh, because there's a little bit of a lip in there. So it, it'll push it out to the side and make it a little bit not straight. Maybe I could line it up to this line here, but again, that's the same concept with all these grid marks. You know, I'm trying to line it up to all of them like that. <clears throat> this is also pretty useful because if you want to line it up to a specific book size, you could do it that way as well. Um, I don't really have it going that way. So let's give it another cut. Let's see what, what happens here, okay? I'm just trying to find a good angle for everybody to watch at home. So this one was a little bit of a better cut. I did get again, a little bit of the print, but even less. Okay. Hard to kind of hold this straight but you get the idea. So I'm gonna keep doing this all the way through. Now, like I said, I made my covers, because I designed these, a little bit um, too vertical. So it, it didn't quite exactly line up perfectly. You can see here where it's supposed to have ended. It looks like the inside of the book is perfect. Outside, you can see I've got a little bit of a cutoff on the bottom and the top that I didn't want to have happen, like here and on the back. So I'll probably reprint this book and remove it all around. Now, if I show you guys um, the original, bo -bo 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 which I've got right here, you can see here I cut it way too short. All right, way too short. But you can kind of see where I line up. Things are lined up pretty darn good otherwise. The reason why I got cut so short is because I just had extra space on it like that. I cut off too much ink combined with the, both the top and the bottom. It's not a huge deal, but I'll probably end up remaking the book to kind of see what I've got going on missing here. On the inside of the pages, you can kind of get an idea of where I went wrong. It looks like I just made probably the pages not big enough, okay? Because it's not like there's a ton of it cut off. Most of it is blank. As you can even see here, even less actual content is cut off. Just a little bit right there, really, not much. So I lined it up pretty good to where the, the content is. Now, there's another way to do it. Okay. In this way, whoop bit of an avalanche. I grabbed a ton of books here so that way I can cut a bunch of them at once. So I can also cut it in a way like this, okay, where I'm not concerned so much about the content of the book and the white lines in it, all right? And you can see here, this one actually, I did a better job with the fill, which is kind of unusual because I did, <laughs> I did literally put the same size for all those books, but maybe I made a mistake somewhere. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. You can see how it lines up with the Get Backers Volume 2 and Volume 3. It lines up pretty darn good, okay, with this content here. I should be able to have most of it fit. If anything, my book will be a little bit too tall. So if I cut a little bit too much, that's okay. So... I've got it figured, I want it to be just about like this, all right? You'll put the template book on the top, just like this. All right?
Now, obviously, this book isn't going to hit the, um, it's not going to hit the, uh, the pusher down here, the one of the presses to make sure it's nice and even. So you've got to make sure you're checking it out all based on here. Now, beauty of doing it like this is I can actually lower this guillotine here, okay? I can lower it just like this and slide the book right all the way up to where it's going to be, okay? I want it to be cut right about there. All right, so I got the blade and everything all lined up. I'm gonna lower the gate down. And again, I know that the book <laughs> that I don't want cut cannot be cut. I'm actually just gonna back it away just a little bit. And I also know the book I do want cut shouldn't have anything extra cut off because I have that blade all the way down here. So I'm gonna give it a cut. Now you can see, because I'm doing it this method, I am losing some content here. But, not a ton. Again, a little bit. Whatever. If I show you what it looks like like this, not so bad, right? I've lined up pretty good. This one's still a little bit taller. So what I'm going to do, slide this up like that and just cut off the excess from the bottom here. Now, again, this time I'm cutting it with the spine facing towards me. Like I said, I've never had any issue with it, but there is a possible issue, I guess, that could happen that way. But I just want to cut off the extra bit. You could, of course, not really care about, um, let's bring this down a little bit. So yeah, you could not care if you really wanted to about not, you know, the content that you're losing here. And if you don't care, then that's fine. Even better, some might say. So I'm gonna lower it down a little bit, well, a lot of it, nice and tight, okay? And I'm going to bring down the blade. As you can see, I'm not going to be cutting off <laughs> more than I want to with this cut. If anything, I'm not cutting off enough, but that's okay, right? Because right now I'm showing you guys a skill or a style of cutting where you're more concerned with how things look on the shelf. So I'll show you guys what that looks like here. It looks like if you were on the shelf that these two are honestly pretty much, you know, from the same place. It doesn't look like it's made or cut by someone who doesn't know what they're doing. It looks like that uh, professional cut it. Personally, I like this style of cutting better. The only reason I didn't care as much for the um, Bobo Bo volumes because I have a feeling I'm probably going to reprint a lot of the Shonen Jump ones that I haven't made before. And the reason why I want to do that is because if you look um, here, the um, no matter what I do, these uh, bubbles here just aren't, they're too big. I made them too big, okay? And it's not low enough. There's just too much of this I really want to change around. So that's kind of why I didn't really give a crap about that. Because if look, I line it up like this, you can see that the bubble's way too big vertically. And I'll show it to you guys as well in one that hasn't been cut yet. <sighs> oh, so with beat, actually I did a better job. This looks like it's legit to me, actually. This was a really good size job. So I think I'll probably use the beat model for the rest of them. Wow. B did a really good job. I did a great job with that. So B, I'm actually going to use the same method I just did for um, get backers, okay? Because look, it literally lines up perfectly. I am stoked that I did such a good job with B. And yeah, like I was saying, these jump 
uh, volumes are just about the right same size. Uh, Boba Bo's is, is quite a bit bigger here, you can see, compared to the other. But yeah, so, you know, you can do it either way that you want to. You can do it the content way, which if you do it that way, you may make the book too short by a fair amount, uh, depending on how well you did the content on the inside. I think I have the wrong size to it because the reason I think that I was working with a few different kinds of sizes here. So GTO is one of those ones where it's not quite the same size as a Bobo, as a uh, Shonen Jump volume size, okay? So I think I just put in the wrong size. You can see here that I'm going to want to make GTO quite a bit shorter than your average jump volume. And I think I made Bobo Bo the same size that I wanted to make GTO. And wouldn't you know it, it's almost a perfect match. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes you can cut off a little bit too much. Um, sometimes if you are making the volumes yourself, you can you can find that you accidentally put on the wrong size. So I definitely put on the wrong size for for Bobo Bo. No big deal. That's an easy fix, but you do have to buy a whole other book, which kind of stinks. But yeah, that's how it be sometimes. Okay, obviously you want to make sure you're as careful as possible when you do something like this. But it's really not that bad. You can use either method that you'd like to, either by eyeballing the pages or by lining it up to an official volume or a comparative volume. And you know, whether you're using official volumes, bootleg volumes, cell print volumes, whatever, you can kind of make a pretty good idea and a pretty good cut no matter what. Personally, like I said earlier, I think doing it this way and lining them up and cutting them based on the spine instead of the content is the best way to do it. But you can do it either way. I do like having the tape here that I put off to the side just like this. So that way I have an idea of where it's cutting. Um, but I also like the idea that you can just lower down the blade. Okay, just like that as a reminder and slide the official volume on top. Make sure, making sure it's all lined up just the way you want it. And making sure the gate's up, but the blade is like half mass. So that way you can still fit one of the volumes, but not both underneath it. I like doing it this way probably the best. This is my go-to method right here, okay? And just making sure things bump up nice and pretty. You can do it either way, neither way, or whatever you want way. But that's what I'm in Manga Boy like, so I don't have this on even at all. Jeez, I'm really sucking with lining it up. Oh. Another thing to take note is just like I was saying, it doesn't cut all at once in a straight line. This has a slanted to it, okay? But yeah, that's my wrap up. So if you guys are planning on doing this at home, let me know any cool tips or tricks you may have found out. I don't know, maybe you guys have something cool that I didn't think about. Maybe you don't. Maybe I'm the first person in the world to ever do this, but I know I'm not because I know people have done this at printing companies. So let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. Is this something that you're going to be doing too? When you get home, you're gonna be like, damn man, Mongo Boy cutting his manga so they look pristine. Or are you going to be like, yeah, man, Manga Boy going way too hard for me. I am not about that life. <laughs> Whatever you think, let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear it. See what you guys are up to. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
and ta-da! You can kind of get an idea of how they look. I got two cameras on them. I tried to line them up as evenly as possible um, with this, but obviously a little bit uneven in my... Well, actually, I can just slide the whole thing, right? Let me see. So yeah, that's what we got going on here. Most of these are pretty much uh, as close to the originals as you could get without getting the original. So that's good to see. Of course, assuming <laughs> the, the back bar is 100% even. But yeah, you can see how they turned out. They turned out pretty darn great, I must say. Um, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. Uh, like I said earlier, or wherever I put this, you know, either keep watching or let me know, depending on where we're at in the video. Obviously, you can see Lava Weke needs a little bit of an adjust adjustment. This needs to go up. Um, you can see why I slowed down, though, because of the plus sign right there. I wonder what I should do with that. But everything else, I mean, it lines up pretty much perfectly. This number right here for the 15 needs to be bigger. Um, Gintama lines up identically. <laughs> so does Beat. The logo for Gintama could be a little bit bigger, but eh, it's not bad. And so could the number actually a little bit bigger there too. Yeah, so that's how things look next to their official counterparts uh, after I cut them.